forgot it and was messing around with the wolves. Got distracted. And did that to me last time too. It just dropped me right off. I don't know why. A little bit glitchy sometimes, like it. But yeah, overall not bad for the amount of stuff you can do in this game. right past that thing. Now we got it. So we're going to head back to the fast travel. Get back to where we was going. Come back here, it's daylight. So if you missed any of the mushrooms, and you know, it's because it was really dark, when you come back here, it's daylight. And we're 100% on everything so far. Right up to Shipwreck Beach. Continue on. Let's see what we got here. Tomb we can't get into because we need a new equipment. That which leads to the treasure map. So we got two challenges on this board. Karen Raider and Minesweeper. So let's go have a look. Now we come from that way. So let's just look around over here first. Trying to pull that door. Nothing. Still need that new equipment. So we need a bow upgrade. Check around here, make sure we got everything. And there we go, there's another cairn. Go ahead and grab that. Some more salvage. There's nothing right up there. <laughs> nothing up there. Ammo we needed. This is a little weird. This is this little drop down right there. All right, so when you're looking for these mines, they could be anywhere. They could be on the ground, but most of them are in the water. So let's look. We don't see any in the water there. But what we do have right here. Salvage. There's also a little neat little achievement you can get on this uh, Yeah, the achievement you can get, um, there's a little Fifi the Crab. So when you're down here, kill some crabs.
These boar give you good experience points. You get 60, so yeah. So we just leveled up from doing that. Let's go over here and grab that. We missed it. Salvage. Alright, we already looked in there once. So now, let's go down here towards the beach. Sometimes you get lucky and the first crab you kill is Fifi. Achievement pot, but you know, other times, no, you just have to pretty much kill every crab in sight. And if you still need the achievement for killing birds, you can kill these seagulls. You gotta get ten of them. I'll show you what the crab looks like as soon as I find one. So we found another mine. Right here. Yeah, and you want to be back away from it, too. Because it will blow up in your face. Got a GPS right there we saw. I don't see any crabs over here. They're usually right along where the water is, so I just look around for them. There we go. There is a crab. Kill a crab. Now you know it says region hunting. Only a small amount of XP's now. Only got one for that. But that's what the crabs look like. And you'll want to hunt those down. Or even the seagulls. To get the achievement. For hunting flying creatures. You know the big game. And then the crab. Fifi the crab. Yeah, just keep walking along the beach and then uh, you'll eventually shoot the right one. There's no way to tell which one is which. Because they all look exactly the same. So let's see if we reveal anything extra on our map here. And walk right past it. Alright, now we see another mine out there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Can I get a... I hit in the right spot, obviously. Alright. Alright, here's what we want to do with that boat. We want to be able to get that up there. That's some salvage. Or a weapon part. So we need to come out here in the water. You can't just drown. You can't swim, but it won't let you drown, so don't worry about it. You can go anywhere. But if it either kill you, it won't let you go there. So let's pull this boat towards this here. Get it out away from these rocks. We want to be able to have something to jump up onto this cargo container. And now let's start pulling it towards us. Yank it. Yank it again. Hitting that rock, but it's okay. We're eventually working it around over here. Just trying to backside so we can get a good pull on it. There we go. Now I'll climb up onto the little raft here so we can jump to that. And we see a couple mines out there, so let's switch weapons here. If it's under the water, we can't shoot it. Oh, no, it's not gonna let us because it's not we're not in range. That's why we can't get those two yet, but so we'll go over here and grab them. And 
Now I'm not going to go all the way over here because can't get up here for right now. Go the other way around there. So we'll grab that later. But we are going to go over there to that sucking, or that wrecked ship. And we'll grab those two minesweepers over there. Bunch of debris. Heading that way, so I don't see nothing that's marked yet. That's close, anyway. All right. Everywhere else we're going, we're going to have to go do something. So let's go ahead and go talk to our friends over here. See, we might level up, let's see. Yeah, we did level up, so let's uh Dirty tricks probably being the last thing I use. So we don't have to bash guys' skulls and with rocks anymore. We can just jab a, you know, the end of that axe in our brain. All right, we got a few items in here. Document. Well, I know you want me to ease off Lara, but I'm hard on her for a reason. This big, expensive ship and all its people are heading into uncharted, dangerous waters based on her theories. Lara needs to understand the weight of that responsibility. I know it was your call, but sometimes I think you forget that she isn't actually your daughter. No one else could get away with steering the Endurance into the Dragon's Triangle without at least some hard evidence. So you tell me, what convinced you? She's smart, I'll give her that. And I admit the expedition has potential, but big ideas and grand plans will only get us so far. You know as well as I do, nothing like this ever goes according to plan. Lara's green. If the shit hits the fan and she screws up, someone's gonna get hurt. Maybe it'll all play out fine. But until we're sailing home safe and sound with a pile of riches, I'm not giving that girl any slack. All right, we got that one. Give you a little bit of background on the story. Let's go ahead and open this door up. Something I haven't felt since I was a child. When my father would go insane with rage, I would hide with my brother, and he would tell me the tale of Pania. Well, that's a little creepy. I remember feeling the ocean calling to me. I wanted to escape, to give myself to the silent sea. And now, as I look at the reefs surrounding this beach, I feel that urge again. I see Pania's green seaweed hair woven among the wreckage. I feel her tears and the spray of the waves lashing upon the rocks. Lara is right. This island is cursed. There is a rage here that will never let us go. If the worst happens and I'm the last one standing, I will let Pania take me. I will swim away and join my brother in the waves. 